finding your seats. All right, do you have your color palette there, Laura? Yeah, I'm Are you? Yeah. All right. Hey guys, welcome to my little paintbrush. You guys ready to paint these roller skates with me? I am so excited about these. These are these are my childhood. Okay. How many of you know what roller skates are? <laughs> I'm just checking. I know. I know. But my kids are like roller blades, mom. What are roller skates? All right. I would spend hours at the roller rink. My favorite. Bruised knees. Have you guys been at roller rinks? Anybody? Do you guys know what a roller rink is? I hope you do, and you know. Okay. Well, it's a place where you roller skate, okay, guys? And it's a lot of fun. But tonight, I hope you guys got to pick your colors. You guys love your color palette? Okay. So I'm going to be mixing these colors here, right? They're my colors for this one. You can follow with me or switch it up. And I'm going to show you all the steps so you'll know what to do, okay, as we go. And I hope that you have so much fun creating your very own roller skate. Just the way you like it, huh? Yes. And I'm also live, so I'm say hello to my friends. We have lots of friends painting with us tonight. So that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So they get to hear all y'all talking down here. How do you feel about that? <laughs> they can't hear you, don't worry. <laughs> they can't hear you at all. So you're totally good. You are good. Now, uh, for those that are painting with me online, you can find the pattern on our website. So you can just print it off and then trace it on your canvas and paint with us or freehand it. Can you imagine freehanding this? I think you could do it. I think you could. Okay, you guys have a couple brushes, right? Yeah. yeah? Let's talk about them real quick so you know what they are, okay? So you have a flat red one, which your biggest one, right? This is a big red flat. Then you have a small red flat. I hope you know what that one is. <laughs> you got it? Okay. It's same, same color, it's just smaller, right? And then you have a detail brush for little tiny things. Yes. Okay. So let's use one of our jars. You guys see you have two jars? I'm going to tell you why. One is for rinsing, okay? It's going to get really dirty. So you kind of pick the jar you want to get really dirty. And then you have another jar to double check it. So if we go from a dark color to a light color, you want a clean brush, right? Okay, so let's pick our, our jar, a dar, I can't talk. Our jar that's gonna be really dirty and muddy, and we're just gonna start. Let's put our brush in there, shake it out. Add some water to our bristles, okay? Miss Autumn is on the floor today. She's gonna be circling around. She's here to help you. All you gotta do is raise your hand. She'll see you and come running, okay? So if you need anything at all, you just let her know. All right, let's start by warming up, right? Let's start with our background color, one of our background colors, the top one. So you notice we have three different background shades, huh? So my top one's pink, then I have orange, and then I have turquoise, right? We're gonna start with our top one, okay? So look at your plate and kind of decide which color you want to go up here. I'm going to be using pink, but I mix a little brown with my pink because I really wanted to deepen all my colors so it changes the shade just a little bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take my plate here and my big red brush, right? Okay, and let's first take a little bit of white and pick it up like this, put it in the middle of our plate because with every color we need white, huh? So let's put a little bit of white in the middle of our plate and then let's pick up some pink and mix it with our white. And I'm gonna get a pretty light shade because I want it really light. If you want it darker, just add more pink, right? Okay, I'm keeping mine pretty light. And now what I'm gonna do is come over here to my brown, pick up a little bit of brown and I'm gonna add it to my pink. It's not a huge difference, but I do like how it warms up my colors just a little bit. Just make some kind of a dusty color. And I love it. So I'm gonna add a little more here. It doesn't warm up my color, I guess. It deepens it. And I just like the browns. Okay, 
So I've added a little brown to that pink. And now I'm going to start up here at the top and start brushing around my image. Okay, it's going to start filling it in a little bit here. If you accidentally paint inside your skate, it's okay. All right, it's all right. With acrylics, there's options always. One of the wonderful things about acrylics is we can always change it up. So I'm going to brush around here. I'm going to add some white to my brush because I love the white streaks in my background. If you want to do that too, all you have to do is put a little bit of white on the corner of your brush like this with my pink. See that? And then I just streak in a little bit of that white. That is a personal preference. Not everybody likes that. So if you want to add a little bit of white to your brush, you can do that. All right. And then we love to wrap our canvas around here. For our new friends, wrapping means that we paint our sides. So it looks like a present. How our present is all wrapped on all the sides. So if you see my canvas here, I've painted my sides, right? Okay. So as you go, you can reach around and paint your sides too. And the top. So my picture, my image wraps all around the sides. Then when you take it home and put it on your shelf or your wall, right, it looks so nice. You don't even have to frame it. It's just already done. Alora, will you tell me if you get cold? Are you cold? No. Okay. It's blowing right on you. So let me know. Okay, girl. And you guys know what white pockets on our canvas are, right? You guys have seen that. Now, if you haven't ever seen a white pocket, this is what a white pocket looks like. Do you see how my paint breaks up right here? I have little white spots showing up. That's a pocket, okay? And it just means you need some more paint to cover it. We want all of our canvas covered, so I'm just gonna brush over that, reload it, make sure I fill it in. Yeah. Now, before you paint under your skate in this little square, if you haven't already, I'm trying to catch you before you do, we're going to darken our shade a little bit to paint under the skate. So I'm going to add more pink. The reason why is because it's shaded, right? There's a shadow under our skate. So can you see how the shading is just slightly different? It's lighter up here and it's a little bit darker under our skate. See that? So I did that to add shadow. But if you want to keep it all one color, you can, okay? Optional, but I am going to add a little more pink to mine to darken it up before I paint under my skate. Okay. Let's go to our canvas. There we go. For all of our online friends. Let's see up close. We're just filling it in around our skate here. And again, I'm going to add a little bit of white to the corner of my brush like that. And then face that white towards my skate. And that's going to give me that white glow and texture. Reach around and paint the sides. Don't worry too much if you go inside the pattern. We're going to be painting over it. I am going to paint right here in between my skate, this little tiny shape right here. Because it's so small, your big brush is going to be a challenge, right? So a trick we use here is called using the toe. So if you turn your brush, and use the tippy point of your brush instead of the flat part. If you use the very tip of your brush, face it down, you can paint in these smaller areas. So try using the toe of your brush. I love using the toe of my brush. It gives me a nice line. 
fill that in. Nice. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to add a little more pink to my pile here of color to darken it up a little bit for under my skate. I'm just changing the shade slightly. It's not a huge difference, but all these little things, you know, they add up and they make our painting have lots of depth creates that for us. So I'm going to go, Autumn, what is that right there? Why do I have that? Where's that from? <laughs> I'm like, hold on. They don't have that, right? No. Okay. <laughs> it's like, that shouldn't be on yours. So I really hope it isn't. Uh, I'm just going to take, this wasn't Autumn's fault. I traced this and Autumn did yours. She did them right. I did mine wrong. Okay. There we go. That looks better. Now let's go around our wheel. You're going to have to finish up your circle over here. So just gently bring your brush around and curve it up in a smile. If it's not a perfect circle, it's okay. We're going to paint it later. Just doing our best. Okay, I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to try and follow the bottom of my skate here best I can. We're going to try not to pick up our brush as we go along that edge. Gives us a nice smooth line. Okay. Blend that white in there. Oopsie. Got a lot. It's all good. Just want to brush out any drips we might have. So it'll dry for us so we can finish up our steps. Check your sides. Just make sure your sides are all painted in the top before we move on to a different color. And brushing out all my paint, just making sure it's all cleared up and smooth without any big drips showing up. Hey. These look good. I love the colors in the room. Everyone's is a little different. So I'm going to rinse my brush. Go ahead and finish and just check the top. I see some tops that aren't done. So I want to make sure yours is completely done before we move on, okay? Because I see sides are done. And it's kind of the worst when you get home and realize, man, I forgot the top. Or the bottom, right? And everything else is. Now, if you're, um, if you've rinsed your brush and you're considering moving on, you can start thinking about what color you want on the bottom. We're going to skip this one for a minute. Okay, we're going to skip our middle shape and we're going to do the bottom. So let's decide what color we're going to do. I'm doing a turquoise. My turquoise is also going to have some brown in it, okay? I use brown in all my colors, actually. So I'm going to add a little brown to my turquoise to paint the bottom. If you're not done yet, though, you're good. Finish up, okay? 
I'm going to get my big red flat ready though, cleaned up. Okay, these look great. Okay, so for my bottom shape here, I'm going to take some white again here and mix it with my turquoise. A little bit of turquoise, so I'm not going to mix all of it. I'm going to save some for later. These, there's a lot of colors, so if any of you need another plate, you hit up Autumn, okay? I get real messy when I paint, you know? I just like to make a mess. So I'm going to add some white over here to my turquoise and then pick up a little bit of brown. And I'm going to mix some brown with it too. There we go. Just love that brown in my color. Well, we got a little pink too. That's all right. There we go. We're going to get purple if we're not careful. All right. So my turquoise on the bottom is a bit darker than my skate. I have turquoise on my skate and I'm going to lighten it up. But for this bottom part, I have a darker shade of turquoise with brown and white. Okay. Always add that white to whatever color you're doing. Okay, now if you're ready, we're just gonna start filling in this shape and I'm gonna try and brush at an angle, back and forth, trying to do long strokes. Okay, to really lay that paint on there. Make sure you load your brush up and fill in all those pockets and give it a nice layer. And then you can wrap your edges here too. What, hun? Now this line right here is actually kind of tricky, right? Getting that line. Don't worry about it being perfect, but I will tell you a trick because this is a painting, not a poster, right? So the imperfections are what give it lots of fun character. But get a really Knocked it out. There it goes. Okay. So to give it a nice line, I like to use the toe of my brush and start at that corner. The toe really gives me a nice line. Follow it down as far as I can without picking up my brush. Woo. It's hard. Right? Doing our best. And we just don't expect it to be perfect. Because we know it won't be. Yeah, it's going to be perfectly perfect, imperfect, perfectly imperfect, that's what I meant to say. Perfectly perfect. Hey, I like that too. So wrap your sides and then turn your canvas so you can paint the bottom, right? You can turn your canvas and lay it down sideways on your easel and it actually won't mess up the paint. It's kind of crazy, but if you set it down like this on your easel, you can paint the bottom, okay? Or you can hold it. That works too. Whatever's easiest for you. I usually hold mine the whole time I'm painting, so I gotta do you. I'm rinsing my brush out. Now what we're gonna do is give our background a minute to dry before we paint this section, okay? Because we don't want our colors to bleed into each other. At least I don't. If you do, cool. I'm not gonna do it though. I'm gonna go now to my skate. So you can start thinking about what color you want this skate to be, what your main color's gonna be, right? My main color is turquoise. See that? I'm vibing with turquoise. You guys may have changed it. So go ahead and look at your palette and try and remember what color you want to go with for your main skate, okay? My color is going to be turquoise. I already mixed it. I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit. Yep, so this will be the color we're doing first. And I'm going to still use my large flat for it. So here's my turquoise. I'm going to add a little more white to it. I just want it a little lighter, but I'm still saving some of that darker shade for later. Okay. 
Yeah, you can change it. Just add white to whatever color you decide to do. You just want a little bit of white in it. Or a lot. Maybe if you want to change the shade, add a lot of white. And I save some of the save some of your um, color for later for this because we're going to shade it just a little bit. Do you need help, honey? Okay. Huh? Oh, okay. She's coming. All right, so I've got my turquoise on my brush. I'm going to start up high. I'm just going to start brushing down on the outside of my line here. Fill that in. Use the toe of your brush to follow that down. Okay. Now, if you feel like this um, red brush is too big, you can use your smaller red flat if it's easier for you, okay? I like to use this red flat for myself, but every artist is different. So if you feel like this brush is just too big, you can switch over to your smaller red flat. See if you like that better. Yeah, we're all different, you know, when we create. So you might like it better if you use that smaller one. I'm going to try and brush around each of my laces. But you know what? If you accidentally paint into your laces, it's not a big deal. So we're going to be painting over them. We're going to bring them back later. But I'm going to use the toe between each lace here. Just to fill it in with the toe all the way around. It reaches in there just fine. But that small red flat, you might like it better going around the laces. Yeah, if you feel like it's easier. Go around each one. Don't worry too much about that edge. We're going to clean it up a little bit. And you have your laces too. This is all about each step, right? They build on each other and you don't see the end result till the end. So you have to trust the process here. If you paint inside your laces a little bit, it's okay. Yeah. Just as long as you can see it. And you know where they lay. I'm just brushing out my paint. Make sure. Curve out the toe. Nice and round there. Awesome. Now I'm going to do the heel of my skate the same color. So before I rinse my brush, I'm going to come over here and paint the heel right here, the same color. Right under that bottom stripe. There we go. Let's fill that in. All the way to a point right there. All the way down. Okay. 
We'll add highlights and everything later. Right now we're just getting that color on there. making sure I just light lighting up my color here I wanted mine a little lighter sometimes it is darker once you put it on your canvas than what it looked like when you mixed it so if you ever want to change your color you can just add a little white to your brush and go over it or if you want it darker add some of the darker shade go right back over it Make sure it's the color you want, huh? Love it so much. How you liking it, Laura? You guys liking your color? All right. Good, guys. I'm going to rinse my brush. So when you're done putting that color on your skate, you can rinse. Make sure you have the color you love, right? It's your main shade. And we'll let it dry a second and we'll paint the next shape in our background. So you can start thinking about that, right? Before we move on, mine's orange. You can decide what color you wanna do. You see here, did mine orange. Hmm. And I am adding brown to my orange too. So it changes the shade just slightly. Ah, so you have to decide what color. You do want it to be a different color from your wheels, right? Yeah, or else your wheels will disappear. You won't be able to see them. So you just wanna make sure whatever shade you choose, it is different from your wheels. Now you can use your large red flat to do it or you can switch to your little red flat, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking good. Make sure, I think we're pretty close to ever being ready. <laughs> Going at the usual pace over there, huh? All right, you just hit a bottom if you're lost, okay? She got you. Or me, I'll come help you. <laughs> Looking good, ladies. Ooh, the colors are so fun. Awesome. What are we doing over here? Ooh, you're changing yours a little bit. I like it. Yeah, it's good. We went with purple, like it. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do orange and I'm mixing white with my orange. Always mix white, right? With your color. So I'm gonna add it to my orange here. Save some orange for later. I'm gonna lighten up my orange a little bit. And then I'm gonna add brown to it. A little brown in there. Ooh, I like it. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna add that brown. Okay, got my color. So let's go ahead now and fill in this shape here under our skate, right in the middle. This is the trickiest shape because we have to go around everything, you know? So sometimes you have to slow down and just take a minute. And wrap your edges while you're at it on this corner. Orange and yellow are one of the hardest colors to get a good layer on. So if you need another layer, you can always come back. Because you'll tend to get lots of streaks with this color. 
two layers usually does it. Don't be afraid to come back later though. Switch brushes if this big red flat is too tricky. Otherwise, you'll have to use the toe quite a bit on this one. Getting around these edges and the corners and the wheel. And you know what? If you accidentally paint into a color, you can go back later and put more turquoise on there after it dries. Cover it up. Just lots of options. We're also going to add shapes on here, so don't worry. This color is not the star of the show. You're going to have shapes that take over. We'll cover it up. I'm going to try and go straight up here, fill it in. All right, pretty good layer. Wrap your side right here. Go right around the edge, fill it in. So you see my orange, oh, my orange went in my turquoise and it turned a little green. That's all right. Let it dry a minute. You probably did too, because that's, it's hard not to. And that edge is gonna dry and you just go back with a little bit of your turquoise color and go right over it. After it dries though, okay? If you're done, you can rinse your brush and switch it. We're gonna switch to our little red brush for our detail work on our skates. Bless you. Okay. We got to start decorating our skate now, right? <laughs> Here's the thing with these lines. I separated all of my lines on my skate with white, right? Okay. You don't have to do that. If you want to do different colors, that's fine, but I'm going to give you a little tip, okay? If you do, let's say, this pink line, and you want to do a purple one next to it, skip that line, okay? You need to skip so that your lines can dry, because if you paint next to each other, they just bleed into each other, okay? and you won't get the colors you want. It'll turn brown on you. I've had it happen. So all these colors just turn a muddy brown, okay? So when you're doing your lines, if you don't want white in between, that's totally cool. But you still need to skip as we go and go back and put your color in between them after they dry. Does that make sense? Okay, because if you paint right next to each other, they'll just bleed right into each other and get all messy. So I'm gonna start with my pink line here, and then I'm gonna skip a line and do my next color, okay? So you can use your large red flat, or you can use your small red flat. You decide which one's easier. The red flat right here fits this line perfectly. See that? So I like using it, but if you feel a little more comfortable with this flat, you can still paint it and do about two strokes side by side to fill it up, okay? So you'll just have to try it out, see what works best for you. We're all a little bit different when we create and some things are easier for us to use. So grab, I'm gonna grab my large red flat and put some pink on it. I'm going a little darker on my pink with my skate. I wanted it to be darker than my background up here. I wanted it to stand out. So I'm using a darker shade with a little bit of white. Okay, just a little bit. I'm gonna keep it dark. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm going to start up here at the top. And you can, if your skate is dry, you can rest your wrist on it and brush down. Just like that. It's always a happy day when you can brush all the way down without picking up your brush. But I ran out of paint, obviously, so I'm going to have to get some more. Okay. And go back down, fill that in. So if you can get make it all the way down without picking it up, that's how you get that fine edge. It's kind of hard, guys. We're doing our best, man. We're just having fun. All of us are going to create the skate a little bit different. That's what's so awesome about art is no two people create the same. So we're all going to create the same painting, but it'll look very different. All right. So I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to let that dry and I'm skipping, right? I'm going to skip a line and do my middle one now. Rinse it. My next one's orange. Yours may be different. It's the same orange I already used down here. So I already have it mixed on my plate. It's like that. Okay, here we go. Start up at this corner. And work my way down. Do you notice anything? They aren't, though. Just me? Are you sure? This isn't another. They have theirs. I'm missing one. OK. Are you missing? Are they missing one? I know. I'm sitting here painting, and I'm like, Right? So I'm not the only one? OK. <laughs> you did it. Oh, you thought you did? No, girl. Uh-uh. This is not you, huh? This is, we're going to blame this on um, our pattern maker. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to put that line in ourselves. It's all good. I just was looking at it and I was like, am I losing my mind? Or is this just me? <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I thought it, like I thought this felt big. Yeah. When I was painting it, I'm like, I did not create it that big. <laughs> so, okay. Guys, I'm sorry. You guys are gonna have to do some freehand tonight. How do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, you don't worry. It's not too difficult. But what we're going to need to do is make sure our brush is really clean, okay? And we've got to use white. We have to put that line on there in white, okay? And it's honestly the same width as your large red flat. So if you just grab your red flat brush and put some white on it, we have to paint it white first. So I'm going to grab some white on my red flat. And all I'm going to do is come right here and follow the white line. See that? Just paint it in right there underneath. Let it dry. And then you can paint your color over it. And it, you, no one will ever know the difference. OK? Sorry, guys. I. <laughs> I knew something was off. I felt it when I was painting this. I was like, I'm 
missing something. So we're just going to put that white line in there. Let it dry a second. Or if you don't want the line, you don't have to. If you're not doing as many as me, just make sure you paint it white first and give it a second to dry. Okay? Needs a second. There we go. I'm going to put a line on here with this pencil so you can see it. You should be able to see it on your skate, but just in case. I'm going to do it so you can have a reference when you look up here. You can see it. There we go. And if you need help putting it on there, Miss Autumn is good at it. She can help you with that. Ooh, well, I am glad we noticed that. <laughs> so make sure you paint it white, let it dry a minute, and then go back, okay? Okay, at this point, we're going to let this dry a minute, and we're going to go over here to our skate, okay? And we're going to decide what color we want our shoe, our laces to be. Yeah. Do you know what color you want them to be? Brown. I'm going to do mine yellow. Okay. That's the same color as my stripe right here. So after I do my laces, I'll come back and paint my stripe. But let's go ahead and mix some yellow or whatever color you want to do. I'm going to do yellow and white. And I'm going to switch brushes now. I'm going to use my detail brush. And I'm mixing a little bit of brown with my yellow. Ooh, I like that color. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to come over here and just paint our shoelaces okay i like to outline them first like this okay and then fill them in pretty simple though we're just filling in the shape it's already traced on there for you i hope hopefully that's traced on there yeah it's very helpful we're going to get those in first before we do all our little metal, um, the holes, metal holes we're going to put on there. I'm going to put this in first. You can have a square edge at the end, or you can curve it like I am. See, I'm curving it just a little bit to make it look like it goes down inside the loop. Yep, the little hole. So I'm going to curve that edge, but you can keep it square too. I've seen both. But I'm going to use the same yellow on my wheels and that last stripe. Just a minute. I'm going to try and give it a clean edge here, but you can come outside the lines a little bit. Your laces are wrapping around your skate, so it doesn't need to be perfect over here on this edge. And kind of come up a little bit. Wherever your imagination takes you, huh? This yellow looks bright on that screen, doesn't it? It's pretty warm, actually.
We're going to come back and add some light to that yellow, so we're just going to let that dry. Just let it dry for a minute. Just filling in some space I didn't see before. Okay, so I think my white stripe is all ready for me over here. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there and paint it yellow now. So if you're done with the laces and you're ready to paint your stripe now, this white should be dry for you. And my yellow is just going to go right over that top of that and be really bright now that I painted it white first. There we go. Like it never happened. We good. Or you don't need that stripe, right? If you did it differently. Love it. Okay, before I do my wheels, I really want to do my wheels, but we've got to do the bottom of our skate first. And I'm going to do it gray and black. Okay, so this metal part of our skate, I've got to do that before I do my wheel, right? So I'm going to let my skate dry now for a sec. And we're going to do the bottom of our skate. So if you notice, I have two shades, right? I have my lighter shade of gray, and then I go to a darker shade of gray down by the wheels, okay? So I'm gonna do my lighter shade first, and do you see the shadow right here? Okay, that shadow is, is gonna be right here at the middle, where your, the middle of your wheel is, okay? Right there but you don't need to worry about it right now because what we're gonna do is paint it all this shade, this dark shade, and then we'll lighten up the back, okay? So we're just gonna get this shade of gray right here and fill it in first. And I'm gonna switch to my small red flat to do it. So let's get our small red flat in water, loosen up the bristles. And let's make our gray. So I'm gonna make my gray with black and white, but we just want a touch of black, right? Just a little bit because it gets dark really fast. See that? So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. We can always add more. Okay. So a little bit of black at a time. There we go. I like that gray. I like it. And you can change it though to whatever you need it to be. And like I said, we don't need to worry about the back yet. We're just gonna fill this in with this gray. Okay. Right up to the back. You're not sure where the line is, you can look up at the screen and you can see where I put it. This is the trickiest part, the mechanics of the skate right here, right? You're nice and easy here. I added brown. Brown, yellow, and white, yeah. Gonna fill it all in. We gotta go nice and slow because this gray takes over real fast, you know? Any dark shade like this, the black or the gray, 
You have to just slow down a little bit, huh? <laughs> so if you use your small flat, it fits just right, right here under the skate and you can follow that line down with your small red flat. You can clean up your edges in a minute with your detail brush. So don't worry too much about that. We're just going to come right up to the wheel and try and carefully paint around our wheel. And then we'll add some light in a minute. And we outline the front so that'll clean up those edges. Just We're just putting the color in. Just like that. Right along the bottom. Okay. Good job. That's a tricky part. Now we're going to do the shade on the back, okay? So the back right here to make it look like our skate is turned, right? And we have a shadow right here. This right here is just a lighter shade of gray. So all we're going to do is add white to what we already made here, and we're going to lighten it up, okay? Just a couple shades lighter. So I have my gray right here, and I'm just going to add white to it. Make it a little bit lighter, just like that. It doesn't have to be a whole lot lighter, just enough to show there's a difference, okay? And right here in the middle of our wheel is where we're gonna go up. We're just gonna do a straight line up right in the middle of our wheel, just like that, for a separation, okay? And we're just gonna fill in the left side of our skate with that lighter shade. And then it puts the rest of it in the shadows. So now the rest of our skate is in the shadows over there. Kind of cool. There we go, guys. You did it. We just have to do the bottom of it now, right here. And I'm switching brushes for it. I'm going to use my detail. It's so much easier because this area is small. So I'm not going to try and do it with my tiny red flat. I'm going to switch to my detail brush, OK? So let's let this dry for a minute. And we're going to come up to our shoelaces. And I'm using this gray to finish up. This li the little hole for our shoelaces. So I'm going to use this dark gray with my detail brush. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to come up here to our shoelaces, and you're just going to create a half circle around the edge of your shoelace. Okay. Take your detail brush. It's the letter C. Just imagine you're painting a C all the way down next to that shoelace. So I'm just creating a C shape just around the outside edge. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect because your shoelace is coming over it, right? So it's kind of hidden. I'm just going to go right around the edge all the way down.
You can do a big, big metal piece or small. Totally up to you. And you can change the shade if you want. If you want to do it black, you can. Or you can do it a specific color. I've seen it all different ways. Just make sure you use your detail brush for it, right? I got some yellow somehow all over my uh, painting here. There we go. It's on my hand. There we go. Beautiful. Now, don't worry if you got on your shoelace a little bit. We're going to bring some white on the shoelace and it'll cover it up, okay? So don't stress that too much. You're just getting it on there. And we'll come back later and finish that up. But right now, we're going to finish up the bottom of our skate. And I'm just adding black to my gray because I want it darker, right? I want it to be a little darker. So I'm just going to mix more black into my gray right here. See how much darker I'm making it? Quite a bit. Almost black. Okay. All right. I'm going to come right underneath here. Painting that with my detail brush. We have to do this before we do our wheels because it's hidden behind our wheels, right? We're just filling in the space. Oh, got some yellow in there. Little yellow in the black. You could do it straight black, though, if you want to. All right. <laughs> you guys are so focused. It's a very quiet class compared to our last one. Hmm. How are we doing, Alora? 
Are ya? Which step are you on? Oh, okay. You're fine. You're good. It's the hardest part. Takes the most concentration. Takes a hot minute. But you guys, you're like, this is the home run right here. We are doing our finishing up here pretty quick. You got all the hard stuff done. <laughs> Now we get to finish our shapes. What I'm going to do is let my wheels, I'm not going to paint my wheels yet. I'm going to let the bottom of my skate dry for a minute. And while we wait for it to dry, I'm going to do these fun designs. Looks like confetti in the bottom. Okay, gives it that fun retro look. So if you guys want to do confetti with me, you can. If you like it without the confetti, don't do it, right? Or if you want to do squiggly lines or dots, anything like that, it kind of brings the skating rink vibe. If you haven't been to a skating rink, you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's a vibe. So I'm going to do the confetti. If you want to do different shapes, you can. I've even seen it with like triangles or big circles, anything like that, okay? But what we're going to do is mix some white and yellow or whatever color you want. I already have it made, right? We have it made. But if you need to make more, it's brown, yellow, and white. Make sure you have white in it, okay? No matter what color you do, make sure you add white. Now let's use our detail brush because it's the perfect, perfect brush for these lines. And I'm just going to give myself a stroke. Ha, a stroke. <laughs> Not really, but just a line, just like that. And we're going to do different directions. See that? That way we don't have a pattern. We want it to look like it's just sprinkled with confetti, right? So we're not really doing a pattern. We're just kind of kind of rolling with it here. Hey there. She's doing great. Doing awesome. She's just flying through it. All right, I'm going to do different shapes all across. Then there's no right or wrong way to do this part, right? And you can do thicker ones, or they can be really thin, really big or small. All right. They can be coming off of your canvas, or you can have them all on there. So fun. Love confetti. Just make sure you add white to that color. That's what's going to help it cover really well. It's that white. You might need two layers of the yellow. The yellow takes another layer sometimes if you're doing yellow with me. Okay. And let that dry. And let's do a shadow under our skate, okay? And I'm just going to use black for the shadow. So rinse your brush. Let's put some black on it. Okay. So the shadow for my skate, I'm just going to do these lines. Right straight across like this. 
They can be thin, they can be thick, totally up to you. Or you don't need to do it at all. You could do a different shape under here, right? I'm just gonna do these lines to make it look like my skate is casting a shadow. Just right along the bottom, giving it that, that retro vibe we have going on, right? Your lines might be really thick or they might be thin. Mine are different every time. I get thick or thin depending on how hard I press with my brush, right? And you can do more. You can do a lot more if you want. I left it at that, calling it good. Okay, so fun, we're gonna let that dry. Have you guys thought about what color your wheel's gonna be? We just have our wheels and then we have our finish up work, y'all. You are there. So you just gotta decide what color you want your wheels to be. Mine are yellow, and I've added the brown and yellow and white together. Same as the rest of my skate here. Same color as the rest of my skate. Okay, so we're gonna come up here and I'm using my red flat brush for my wheel. I'm gonna go ahead now and fill it in. The bottom of my skate should be dry enough for me to do this without smearing it. Just make sure it is, because it'll smear on you. Right? Go all the way around our wheel. Circles are hard, y'all. We're just gonna try our best here. Try and go around and spin our brush without picking it up to fill in that circle. All right. Trying to get around that circle without picking up my brush. Let's put that color in. We'll come back and highlight it later. And we'll come do this one, same way. Just going around in a circle, filling that in. If you need another layer of yellow, you can come back and do it in a minute. But we'll highlight it and that'll add another layer too. <laughs> and then my break right here, right? What is that called? I lost it all of a sudden. It, that's, it, it is a break, but it has a name. And I lost it all of a sudden. <sighs> Let me think. Mm. it'll come to me. It will come. But we're going to fill it in. Now, if you want to get a little crazy and add a shadow like this, I'm going to show you what the shadow is. If you want to get a little crazy with me, okay? What I did is I took my yellow on my brush and I put some brown on the corner. See that? Just a little bit, a little dot of brown. And I'm gonna face it towards the edge and brush around and it gives it that shading. 
That's just an extra thing, guys. But if you want to try it, it's kind of cool. I like it with yellow. You can do it with just a darker shade of your color. You can do it on your wheels. But it's really just an extra thing. But I like to just use a darker shade. But see, yellow, using a darker shade of yellow is kind of tricky to do. It doesn't show too good. So I used brown. Okay, you guys ready to finish it? Where are y'all at? Where are you at, Alora? Okay, good. You're just like right behind me. Cool. Okay, let's do our highlighting. So if you're ready, you can rinse your brush out. And let's do the middle of our wheel. And the cool thing with this is if you're doing it gray, gray goes over every color. So I'm just going to use the same gray I used for my metal here. Okay. And all I'm going to do is paint that middle circle gray. And if the paint isn't dry yet, it's okay because black, that's one cool thing with black is you don't have to wait too long. It will just cover it up. So if you're ready, you can go right into that, or you can let it dry a minute. That's up to you. Unless you did your wheels black, I guess, huh? If you did gray wheels, you could do black in the center, or if you did black, you can do gray in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and just spin my brush. If you lay it flat and spin it around, usually gives you a nice circle. See that? Lay it flat and spin. Because circles are just kind of hard. We're just doing our best. Let that dry a minute and we'll put in some light. Awesome. I'm going to rinse my brush. Really good. This is where I'm going to double check it in my other jar because I'm going to go to white. And I want to make sure we are good. Okay, so I added white under my wheel. See that to add movement to my painting? So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to put some white in my skate to scuff it up a little bit. Okay. So that's, that's one of our last steps. And you guys are done, almost there. So we're gonna add the light. And if you wanna outline a little bit of it with me, we'll do that. But otherwise, you guys, you did awesome, okay? So the finish up work is what's just gonna bring it all together and finish it for us. So just wanna make sure your wheels are in. How are you doing? Okay. Where are you at? Okay. You're good. You're totally good. I can come help you too if you have questions. Holler at me, okay? I have to keep a steady pace. I know, I know. All right. Did you double check your brush? How are you ladies doing? Okay. Hey, it's further than I thought you'd be. Let's be honest. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> That's funny. You're doing great, hon. You're doing great. Don't stress it, okay? All right. Let's just make sure if you're ready, rinse that brush out for me. Have it ready for the white. Okay, now there's two ways to do all of the light and the movement in your painting. There's two different ways to do it. You can do it with a detail brush, which is this one here, right? Or you can do what we call floating with the white, okay? With our flat brush, which is what I'm gonna do. So what you do is you're gonna take your red brush that's really clean, and you're gonna put a little bit of white on the corner of your red brush, 
like that. Or you're gonna take your detail brush if it's easier and put a little white on your detail brush, okay? They'll both do the same thing with a slightly different look, but they both look great, okay? So let's start up top, give our skate some movement. I'm just gonna do this little white highlight here along the back of my skate. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna do some here in the front. Just like that, just kind of brush it on there. All right. Okay, now we're gonna give, make it look like our wheels are spinning a little bit. And we're just gonna add this smile shape just under our wheels. You can do it really dark or light. I'm doing it kind of dark so you can see it really good on the screen. And then we have some here on this wheel and I had it come right into my orange. See that? And then the front, curve around the front right there. Just like that. Cool, cool. <laughs> now let's add some to our skate. So I'm gonna put a little highlight here on the back to scuff up the heel. Just like that. Okay, just kind of scuffs up our skate a little, makes it look like we've been using it. Okay, put a little bit here above my line. And I want my toe to look like it's a little bit scuffed up. So I did a little bit of white on the toe. Okay. And I'm gonna put some right here on the middle. Just a little bit of light right here. Yeah. Now, like I said, you can use your detail brush if it's easier. I do like to use the toe of my brush and brush in a little bit of white in my color. See that? Kind of scuffs up my skate, draws attention to it. You don't have to do that. I just think it's kind of fun to do. If you don't like it, you can always paint right back over it, you know? No biggie. Now we're gonna do it to our, to our um, laces. So I'm gonna put a little bit of white on my brush, okay? And all I'm gonna do is just add it across the top of my laces. Always add light to your painting when you can. If you have that opportunity, it just brightens it up. I'm gonna go right across the top of my laces with that white. Finishes it up and it also adds another layer to cover anything up. Cool, cool. And my wheels should be dry enough that I can add a little bit to my wheel now. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of light and add the smile shape to the bottom of my wheel, see that? A little bit of light to there. Make it look like it's turning. Put it along the top too, just like that. Right along it. I think she's about done. Are you done, girly? I think she's pretty close. You done? Did you sign it? You wanna sign it? Yeah? So use your detail brush and you can sign your name. Because artists sign their name, right? And you did awesome. And you are welcome to go if you're all finished, hon. Thanks for painting with us. We'll see you later. Okay, you did good, let me see it. Are you all finished? Yeah, so retro. Nailed it, nailed it. We'll see you later, Kay. You can just throw it on your chair if you want to, yeah. Bye, hon. Whoa, what did I grab? I did not grab white, oops, whoa. Got a red wheel happening. I think I grabbed pink. 
Got to go back over it in a minute. Oh, weird. I know, I got red in my brush. Got a red wheel. Okay. Now I'm going to use the back of my brush to get that dot in the middle of my wheel. So just turn your brush over like this so it's upside down. Okay, and I'm going to stamp the middle with white right there. But if you use the back of your brush, you'll get an easier dot in the middle of that wheel. I'll try it again without pink. Let's see if I can get it without the pink in my brush. Now, if you want to take the time to outline some of it with me, you can. I didn't outline all of it, just a couple things with black, but it's totally optional. Some artists prefer not to, but I'll do it with y'all so you can see it. But if you're done, sign your name. Because you did awesome. You should be proud of it. See y'all. Have a good night. Thank you. Now, if you really want to dirty up your skate, you can brush in the gray very lightly in the white. Okay? But you have to be so careful because you'll easily lose your white and it'll just become gray. <laughs> But I like to just brush in a little gray in here for fun. Okay. But you guys, you did it. You did so good. I'm going to do a little bit of outlining if you want to do it with me. And then we're going to sign our name. But my outlining is with black. And I'm just going to go right along the edge here with my detail brush. Some of you like it, and some don't, huh? Yep. How we doing, girl? You getting it? <laughs> Close. Do you have any questions? Are you okay so far? All right. I have the worst glare up here right now. I cannot see half of it. I don't know what the deal is with this light. Yeah. Hoping I'm landing close. in there.
I'm just going to do, yeah, I'm just doing my outlining. You guys doing it with me or no? Some of you? Laura, are you doing the outlining? You're doing the highlight? All right. You guys should be all done. Is there anything I'm missing? I think I got most of it. I didn't outline all of it. Just some of it. Just depends on how much you want to outline. I'm going to do a little bit up here. Okay. I think she's done. Are you all done? Yeah, I think she is. So fun. Did you sign your name? Yeah. She'll make sure. <laughs> Do you sign it with a Sharpie? So one thing to think about, okay, the Sharpie will fade. It goes, it literally disappears after like a year or two in this paint. So if you get her like a paint pen, do that. Because then you'll notice like in a year or two, it's gone. Uh, yeah, I've learned that the hard way. And I don't, yeah, and it's really sad because it's like so precious when you're older and you look back at when you're a kid and the signature's gone, it's like, oh. So, I've used that trick too. Mmm. Oh, pastel -y. I love it. Looks so good. <laughs> You're not even that far behind. You're doing great. I'm doing okay. You're I doing miss, awesome. I miss, like, What'd you miss? Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's okay. Very last thing you do, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're well, good. Bye, guys. No, you're totally good. You're totally good. Um, yeah, the highlighting is pretty self-explanatory. It right? takes yeah, a few I'll seconds, so you're out. fine. I'll come and help you. Uh huh. Just um, yeah, just get all your color on. The highlights like the last thing you'll do. So, yeah, you're doing great. I think you're there, aren't you? Aren't you about where? Yeah. If you want to put more white in there, and then I scuffed it up with some gray. See that? But just lightly. So. Yeah, I think you're there. Okay. It looks really good. I love it. You like how it's turning out? It really turned out good. Yeah. So the only other thing I added to, you see the brown on the back of the, right here? I floated a little brown there. And on the top of the wheel to scuff it up a little bit. Okay. But it, and then you outlined. I did a little bit of outlining for shadow. But it's not the whole thing. Like it's just some stuff, you know? So different every time I do it honestly okay. with the shadow and it's not necessary I just did it so you don't have to be perfect on the wheels it kind of right. takes the imperfection out of it awesome. <laughs> so if you want to put a little perfect bit of brown on your brush you can just do the shadow part of the wheel okay. and this back edge right here okay. if you want to if you want to how are you good. <laughs> you got the pickup the pickup duty you took the late shift 
<laughs> I've been teasing them. They're doing really good, actually. They're like on the home stretch. <laughs> oh, they're doing great. Did Maylee leave? Where is she? Oh, oh, I was like, where did she go? All right, guys, I'm here if you need me, okay? Whoa, sorry. Whoa, boss. Whoa, <laughs> fell off my face. All right, thanks for painting with me. You guys did so awesome. I love these. The colors are so fun. So I'm going to walk around. If you guys see me, hit me up, all right? But take your time. Take your time finishing. <laughs>